So Halo Infinite Season 3 just dropped. I want to showcase the customization options that can be available now within Halo Infinite. We have changes to the shop and also two new passes you need to grind through. But the biggest problem right now is that 58% of you are not subscribed to the channel. We're going to be doing a lot of videos about Season 3 of the update, guys. So if you guys want to stay updated with everything going on with Halo, make sure you tap subscribe. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So like I said, guys, there are two passes right now you need to grind through. We have the Season 3 Premium Pass as well as the Mindfall Pass. First, let's go over the Season Pass I'm sure a lot of you guys are curious about. I'm going to go over the highlight parts that I think are really cool. But if you guys want to see the entire video, I have it on my channel already if you guys want to see that. So right off here at level 1, we get a backdrop, no big deal. But then we also have the Slipstream Vector Strike, which is kind of a cool armor effect that I put on your character right at level 1. So you're going to be seeing this a lot. Level 2 and 3, we get these kind of normal shoulder pads for the Mirage Core. Level 4, we get our first bit of currency. You'll also earn enough currency within the Battle Pass so that you'll be able to get a free Battle Pass next time. So it kind of helps pay for itself as long as you play enough. Level 5, we get the Neath. I can pronounce that uh, helmet right here. This is definitely much more like a Halo 5 style helmet, but I do think it looks kind of interesting. The Bulldog Shotgun is finally gaining some love when it comes to customization. As you get the Urban Renewal coating for your Bulldog at level 9, you'll see this coding also for various weapons within the game. Same kind of thing with the Sands, if I pronounce that correctly, kind of a gold pattern to this. We also see on the Hydra and various other weapons within the Battle Pass. Same kind of thing with the Timeless Moss, a clean green teal kind of coating right here. We see this for the Spartans as well as for weapons. At level 13, you get the Avalanche Slate Armor coating right here, which looks pretty nice. There is also some Mark 7 specific customization as we do have the Dead Eye Helmet coming in for Season 3. Urban Renewal Bandit at level 17. This cool looking chest piece right here for your Mirage, aka the SBI Core, level 18. There's the same coating for the Hydra. The Crimson Sash Armor coating for your Mirage Core. Now you'll see a lot of people use this because it will definitely stand out for that bright saturated coloring. Timeless Moss Sidekick. At level 25, you'll get some Rock Shasa Core love with the utility pack of these cool knives for your Mark 7. Level 27, you get the Flanker Helmet along with this cool looking visor, which definitely will look awesome with the EVA style or SPI Core style helmet. Like the Extender Helmet right here at level 30. The Lilac Campaign coating for your Assault Rifle. You see this on other weapons as well as a Spartan coating, which we'll showcase later. Avalanche Slate for your vehicle. Timeless Moss for your Bandit. Extender Gryphos, if I pronounce that correctly, helmet for the Mirage Core. This will definitely stand out. Level 41, this Iron Blood coating looks really cool. You can see that the Undersuit has a really cool pattern to it, which you will see that later on in this Battle Pass. Something that 343 really tried to do in the more customization with when it comes to this Battle Pass. Urban Renewal Assault Rifle. For the Mirage Core, the Angus Box Utility Pack, which that definitely looks unique to what we've seen previously, so definitely we'll see that once people get to level 45. The same kind of coating for the Bandit. And at the next level 49, the same kind of coating for the Battle Rifle. Level 50, we get the awesome kill effect, which is the Slipstream Endpoint, which I know pretty much everyone's going to be rocking this as soon as they get to level 50. The Timeless Moss Coating for your Spartan. Now, this actually kind of matches the color scheme of my channel. So I'm just saying, is it made for me? I don't know, let me know in the comments. This cool looking Mercury helmet for the Mark 7. Here's the Tiger Royalty coding at level 58. Now this will be something that I think a lot of Cincinnati Bengals fans will have to utilize if you're from there. Like there's no other question what you'd use anything else. Here's that Sans coding for the sniper rifle as well. Looking quite clean. Timeless Moss for your battle rifle. You also get the Urban Renewal Hydra at that same tier at 73. Here's a shock brace wrist attachment for the Mirage Core. This is definitely a different type of wrist attachment, but I'm actually kind of liking it. It's kind of cool looking. The Purple Sun Mirage coating at level 82 right here. That's pretty clean. The Tryon visor, if I pronounced that correctly. This kind of reminds me of like the Seattle Seahawk kind of coloring. This would look crazy on the SBI core. Talking about SBI, we have the Street Viper helmet, which in a weird way, I kind of like it. It looks kind of cool at the same time, but also really like Halo 5 weird kind of style, but I'm kind of digging it. Here's that Lilac campaign coating that we talked about earlier as well. Pretty fun coating. Level 98, we got some cool stuff here. This is the Autumn Offensive Visor. Again, it's kind of like, almost looks like geometric leaves in a way, uh, distance, which looks really cool. In that same tier, we get the Scorched Blood coating for your Mirage Core, which I know a lot of people are going to be rocking this. This undersuit looks really cool. And then finally, at level 100, you get the Utility PGY pack for your Mark 7, which actually has some color to it. And it looks pretty unique from what we had previously, so I'm all for that. And then ultimately, you get the armor effect here, which is the Slipstream Select Link stuff, which you know 
Everyone's be rocking this as soon as they get it because this looks amazing. But wait, there's more. For the first two weeks, we have the Mindfall event. They have a free pass tier to go through. The, this one, you do have to complete these specific challenges for this to kind of move through. A lot of it more just kind of like play the event playlist, get kills and stuff like that. So nothing too crazy right there. But we have, for example, for what we're going to showcase here, we have the backdrop a coding called the Desert Spar Pet, if I pronounce that correctly. Kind of a cool like desert camo look right there, nothing too crazy. A couple of shoulder pads as well. We have the visor. Again, they're going real all out with these visors. We have the Tyro helmet attachment, which I will say like, again, looks kind of weird, but I'm also kind of digging it at the same time. We have the Epic helmet attachment right here for your Mirage core. A tactical belt so that you can keep your Spartan pants up while you're owning all the noobs within Halo Infinite's multiplayer. The Tac Infinity Rig, which this also looks really cool. This might compete with one of the ones within the Battle Pass as well. I'm really liking this. And then the ended off the R107 Scan Man Wrenches Attachment here, which definitely looks very unique to what we've had previously, so I'm really liking that as well. And as we covered previously on the channel here, guys, the Purple Rain coating for your Bandit Rifle is these week's capstone. A lot of them are just kind of general challenges we need to complete, but also some challenges that have you specifically going into the featured unlimited playlist, which is right here within the multiplayer. This week, it's going to be Arena Unlimited. Next week will be the Oasis Unlimited. But some big changes now are coming to the shop of Halo Infinite, which I know can always be a bit of contention when it comes to the community here. We have the new bundle system that they're utilizing, which basically gives you two sets of armor for the price of what one new set of armor cost back in season one and two. Right here, we have the Aqua Hex bundle, which gives you some cool weapon coatings right here, which look amazing. Crazy looking helmet attachment right there. Some shoulder pads for your Mirage as well. So you do get a good amount of customization. Essentially what you're getting is two sets of armor for the price of one. They did state that these would come back in individual packs so people don't have to buy the whole thing, but it'll be not as much of a value as it was when it comes into this first bundle right here. Here's the other set of armor right here. Again, like really cool looking shoulder pads. This chest piece actually right here is looking kind of cool. That's definitely gonna stand out from the gray coatings or coloring that we have for a lot of chest pieces right there. This armor coating right here looks pretty sweet. Again, taking advantage of the undersuit color changes, which I think is actually kind of a nice touch with this season right here. And oh my God, what we saw within the drill. Now this is clean. Look at this. The undersuit looks amazing. It's just all white and clean looking. Oh my gosh. This is a tough one, guys. <laughs> this is really trying to get me to spend my money on this game right here, I swear to God. Next we have the sensor link coatings. We basically have the same kind of coating for your bandit rifle for the wasp as well as the scorpion tank that you can jump in and play around with if you'd like this that much the we can do it bundle which comes with the like rosie the riveter style of pose which is always kind of a fun reference to that world war ii propaganda a visor as well as a really unique armor coating now this is definitely going to stand out from the pack and it's for 800 credits so it could be a bit pricey but you'll definitely will be looking very unique Next we have the Slipstream Factor Rig, which this one I'm not too much into. It has some cool shoulder pad effect, kind of something that we have like the foot effect of the tier one of the battle pass. You also get a stance, you get a cool looking pink visor, as well as an armor coating, which will definitely <laughs> make you stand out within the map, that's for sure. Then we have the Ashen Victory Daily Pack coming in here, so we'll see what comes in daily when it comes to the store. This looks all right, nothing too crazy, especially compared to the one we had within the battle pass. I might pass on this one, but if it's so you're fancy for 300 credits, there you go. And for the season, we still have the boost and swap packs. Now, one last bit of customization to show to you guys, we have a new bundle set when it comes to HCS. Now, I know not a lot of you guys are out here super excited about HCS stuff, but these bundles do look really cool. I'll highlight some of the ones that people have been really interested in. We have the Cloud 9 bundle right here, which gives you an armor coating, which is really cool, like reflective effect to it. That did not come through on the trailer super well, so this looks actually really cool. You also have a coating for your sniper rifle, kind of a very similar to what we had previously previously, but this time on your sniper, which definitely could use some more customization. We also have some cool looking visor. Again, it would look great on your SPI armor core or just any kind of EVA style helmet. Then you got some backdrops and some emblems and things like that. Nothing too crazy. The other one I'm really looking forward to actually, it might steal my wallet right here, is the Space Station Gaming one. This looks really cool right here. 
I really like what they did with this, as well as the sniper rifle, which kind of looks very similar to the one within the battle pass, but has some, some cool kind of like digital effect on the sniper as well. So it's not just straight up yellow and gray and stuff like that. You also have the visor though, really stands out. It's kind of like this really cool circuitry kind of look to it. Again, look great on the SBI armor set. The face set really stands out on this one. This one is kind of weird because like how black the black is. Like you can see this character almost blend into the background, which is really interesting to see. Um, might be a little overpowered, not too sure, but hey, you know, they might nerf this a little bit later or something like that, but this looks really cool. We also have the sniper rifle with the similar kind of look to it as well. And a visor with the kind of starry background to the visor as well. But there's that. And then also, of course, you get like the backdrops and a bunch of emblems and things like that. Nothing too crazy beyond there. But definitely would suggest jumping in and checking out these bundles. These do also support the organizations themselves. So it's not all going into 343's pocket. This actually, majority of it does go to the organizations to help support the competitive side of things of Halo. They kind of keep, well, Halo afloat. Now, if you want to see the entirety of the Battle Pass, well, I covered it in my video right over here. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.